All right, ladies and gentlemen, good day to you. Uh, I'm Professor Brenton Boyce. I'm your professor for this fall 2020 semester. Uh, this class is Criminal Procedure, uh, the CRJS 313-01. Uh, uh, um, we are um, online. Of course, this is an online class, so we're only meeting uh, via Zoom. And our, our, night, our Zoom meeting night is going to be every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Um, so our Zoom meetings are uh, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Um, of course, uh, I'm the instructor, Brenton J. Boyce, just to give you a uh, just uh, some introduction of myself and my background. I did attend North Carolina A&T State University. I arrived in uh, the fall of 1999, graduated in uh, spring 2003 with a degree in general economics, sat out a year, uh, attended, then a uh, then enrolled in law school at North Carolina Central University. Uh, finished there in 2007 uh, with my Juris Doctor with my uh, Juris Doctor degree. Uh, from there, passed the bar in July. Um, by September, I'm licensed and practicing law at a small firm here in Greensboro, um, right downtown Greensboro. I did that for a number of months before I transitioned into the Public Defender's Office. I uh, did that uh, for from about 2008 uh, to like middle of 2012, so roughly about I would say about four and a half uh, years. Um, uh, then from there, I decided to jump out and join a private firm, small private firm in Charlotte, North Carolina. Did that for a year, learned the business side of of practicing law, uh, and then I decided to come back here to Greensboro and open up my own firm. Did that in 2013. Um, so, uh, I've been practicing law here, uh, on my own, my own firm, the law offices of Brent, the law, the law offices of Brenton J. Boyce, uh, since September of 2013. And I haven't looked back. So this is, uh, I'm essentially seven plus years in, it'll be seven years actually in a few weeks. Um, so, um, uh, I started teaching at A&T, however, in, uh, January of 2012, that spring 2012 semester. Uh, that was when I got my shot uh, to teach. Uh, so I've been doing it ever since. Started with one class, uh, and now I'm teaching four. Uh, so and that, uh, I had to grow and uh, and learn how to do this. Uh, so I've been doing it now for uh, almost nine years, I guess. Well, eight years from 2012 to uh, 2020. Uh, so, yeah, um, I enjoy it. It's very fulfilling to be able to give guidance um, and help young Ag Aggies uh, make life decisions. and. Um, help get you know help uh make you guys uh give you guys some professional development and just uh, see you guys grow it's a very fulfilling thing to even be in the courthouse practicing law and i see um uh, students that i've taught either interning at law firms or working in law firms some of them are in law school and others are working in law enforcement i see them in uniform or working with uh, probation and it's awesome uh so um I, I think what i'm doing what i do is very fulfilling uh, so that's my story. Uh, I, I also want to hear your story. Um, so I've posted a uh, discussion board. Uh, it's a personal introduction. Um, so you just go in and answer those questions. It is worth five points uh, towards your final grade. So that is posted tonight. So go ahead and get that done. Uh, get your five points. Get up out of there. There's no right or wrong answer. Just tell me who you are. I ask you a set of questions. Just let me know. Um, so let's talk about uh, my office hours. Um, of course, my office is uh, physically located in 218 Gibbs Hall. Um, I'm teaching all online classes this semester, but I did decide to make myself physically available. Um, my, law, my office hours are Monday through Thursday from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. I'm teaching four classes, and I have a Zoom meeting um, Monday th uh, for each class, either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday at 6 p.m. So I'll be in the office roughly a couple hours before that Zoom starts. Here and there, I may be running behind because I have a law office that would be down the street from campus because I'm down at my law. That's where I am now at my law office, but I'm literally right down the street, five, five, you know, between five and ten minutes away from campus. So sometimes I may be running behind. I may not be in there exactly, but um. I, I, I plan to be there every day. Uh, if I'm not there, you can't find me. Um, on the syllabus, I've included, uh, there's a department phone number. Um, but, of course, a lot of people are remote now. So 
Um, I wouldn't really focus on that. But if you want to reach me directly, there's my law office line. I have that on my syllabus, on the syllabus. And I have my my business mobile line. That's to my, um, my law office, uh, my mobile phone for my law office. Uh, so I have that number. I also have uh, the campus email address and my law office email address. I would prefer you reach reach out on my campus email address because both of them are in my phone. So um, it doesn't. So I'd much rather you send me um, requests and information uh, in my on my campus email address. Um, so I like to call myself the most accessible professor at A and T. Um, so uh, course prerequisites: uh, CRJS one hundred and CRJS two hundred. Um, All right, course description. This course covers the history, evolution, principles, and contemporary applications of criminal procedure. Uh, topics include the inner workings of the criminal justice system and the laws governing the interaction between law enforcement, civilians, and the judiciary. Um, so what we're learning here is substantive procedural law, um, and, uh, and we'll talk about the learning objectives. Um, you're going to use analytical thinking skills to evaluate information critically. So essentially, I'm going to be giving you information. I'm going to be giving you the substantive uh, procedural law, um, and then I'm going to I'm going to have you apply that procedural law to a set of hypothetical facts. Um, and you're going to have to give me an answer. Uh, is this constitutional? Is it not constitutional? Are you going to grant this motion to dismiss or not based upon the constitutionality of the law enforcement of law enforcement's actions? So you're going to be answering questions like that. So this is going to be a very practical, what I call a practical application course. Um, so you're not just regurgitating all the time. You, 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 especially in your writing, you're going to have to apply what I give you um, to a fact hypothetical and tell me what's right or wrong. Um, another, and I'm, I'm, with, I'm on the student learning objectives. That was number one. Number two, apply multiple methods, methods of in, multiple modes. I'm sorry, of inquiry including quantitative and qualitative analysis to formulate, describe, and evaluate and solve problems. Also, the most important, apply legal writing skills to answer actual and hypothetical legal questions. So you, re- you will be writing essays. Now, these are not term papers or research papers. These are essays. They're different. Um, I'm going to give you a body of law. Um, I'm going to give you a hypothetical, and you're going to have to apply the law to it. Um, you don't know what body of law, but it, there's going to be some Fourth Amendment something that you're going to have to apply to it and answer it in the form of a um, uh, in the form of a persuasive essay. Uh, so you're going to have to answer questions that way. Uh, so I'm going to there's going to be a writing workshop I post to to, to kind of coach you up on writing. So don't worry. Um, also, uh, required textbook for the course uh, uh, is Criminal Procedure, 4th Edition, uh, Matthew Lippman. Let me get that for you. Now, I have, I don't have the 4th Edition on me now. Uh, it's somewhere probably in, on, on campus. But uh, this is the book I used to teach from, and this is actually the 1st Edition. So, you'll see me usually crack this open and talk, and I'm sweating because it's hot in here. Um, sorry about that, um, landlord. I got to cut the air on. Um, but this is the book. Uh, I have a lot of good resources in the book, and I even have it circled here. That That is the website for the book, www.sagepub.com backslash Littman CP. Um, as a matter of fact, if you go... If you go to that website, uh, you will undoubtedly, um, and you do practice questions, pull the, pull the um, you can go chapter by chapter in the student resources. Um, you can, I'm sorry, uh, you can pull the, um, what do you call it, the uh, chapter outlines and kind of, you know, breeze through the chapters, do that, prepare for class, but they have quizzes at the, uh, to go with each chapter. If you go through and do that for each chapter, uh, you would have already done all of my multiple choice questions. Now, I'm not telling you which multiple choice questions I use, um, but um, that's where I get, literally, that's literally my personal test bank for this class. So if you've done that, you've already, you, you're going to get on the multiple, you're going to get on the midterm and the final, and you're going to see questions you've seen before. Um, so do that. That's a good way to prepare. Um, but uh, so uh, fourth edition uh, was uh, released in 2019. You can get that book. That's the required textbook. Um, but uh, if you don't have that, uh, you uh, any uh, any of the earlier editions, uh, of course, I like uh, 
uh, the first edition. Um, so those, so those are amongst the things in the in the uh, suggested materials. There, uh, of course, require other required materials are computer and internet access. Um, suggested materials: uh, uh, Robert Farb uh, arrest, search, and seizure in North Carolina is suggested. You don't have to get it. Uh, uh, any of the earlier editions of um, the criminal procedure textbook uh, by Matthew Littman. Um, grading policy, of course, we are on the plus minus grading scale that is in the syllabus. Um, grading allocation. How am I grading this semester? Course grades are based on a weighted grading scale of 100 uh, percent. Grading consists of synchronous learning attendance, which is Zoom. So you got to be in attendance at my Zoom. So you get graded for that. So I take attendance. Classroom discussion board participation. Uh, so, uh, so, um, responding to the discussion board and you only have one and it's up now and that's the, uh, self, in that, that, that's the self introduction. That's your first five points of 5%. Uh, then you have two writing assignments. Uh, you got a midterm and then you have a final and, and that's how you're going to, those are the things you're going to be graded on. So uh, I'll give you the, I'll give you uh, the point allotment. Uh, your zoom attendance is going to be 10% of your grade. So 10 points. Um, your discussion board, uh, answer, you know, uh, reply, uh, to the self introduction questions are going to be 5%. So that's 15. So that's 5% of your final grade. So not doing that before within the net, I mean, uh, tonight or tomorrow is going to lose you five points. Uh, writing assignments, you have two, each of them is worth 10 points. Uh, so of course they're spaced out, but they're each worth 10 points. So that's a total of 20. So you got um that's 35 points then you have a midterm exam uh with with, with 25 questions and extra credit questions so you can get uh it's worth 25 percent but if you get your extra credit you can come out of there with third with an extra five percent making it 30 percent um that so that's 25 percent and then you guessed it the last thing is the final which is worth that last 40 percent uh with an additional five percent in the extra credit question um of course, course policy, please uh, check your Blackboard and your email address, the aggies.ncat.edu address that's attached uh, to the Blackboard and uh, the, the university-issued email address. Um, let's see. Not that stuff I won't go over, but uh, let me see. Do, also, print out your syllabus and read your own syllabus. I'm not going to spoon-feed you. Um COVID-19 policy, of course, when you're on campus, wear masks, it's particularly when you go inside of buildings. I don't know. I don't think I think with the policy, if you're outdoors and not around people in your distance, you don't have to have a mask. Uh, but stay socially distanced, wear a mask on the in, uh, uh, when you're indoors or, or within uh, a certain proximity to other people. Um, wash your hands, sanitize your hands. Uh, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. We're living in different times right now. Um, so uh, I, I did put the coronavirus or the COVID-19 policy uh, in the syllabus, so you can read that over. Um, skip this other stuff. Um, the Title IX policy, pretty much my personal policy is if you report something to me that, that someone's doing to you, uh, the sexual harassment or there's a crime that's taking place, I'm going to report it. You know why? Because I like my job. Um, won't It won't take me down. Um, so... Uh, that's that. Of course, I have I have uh, the academic dishonesty policy, but no one's going to cheat in my class. You don't have to. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the uh, academic uh, calendar. This is the academic calendar, this old blue, yellow, and white thing here. Um, it's going to go day by day, so you're going to know exactly what's uh, due and what's going on and what we're going to talk about from day to day. Uh, so I like to keep it simple. Um, so uh, let me see here. Uh, so, uh, of course, today's uh, August 19th, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this tonight. Uh, actually, on the syllabus, it said tomorrow, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, make it available tonight. Um, so, for this class, um, if you look at the calendar, we meet, uh, our meeting day for Zoom is Wednesday. Uh, so, we meet every Wednesday, and I drop new information for the following week, that, that Thursday, right after the Wednesday. So, um so for this class, August twentieth will be that first that that first uh, Thursday where I drop information, but I'm just doing it a day early. Um, so that means August the twenty sixth, which is Wednesday, we meet for our first Zoom discussion, and we have like twelve Zooms over the semester. So you're going to be graded for your attendance in those Zooms. 
Um, so, uh, the, uh, zoom, so you got your first zoom discussion where we'll talk about, you know, we'll talk, reiterate what I, you know, the information I put out, uh, then, uh, that next day, the 27th, I'll be dropping chapter one and chapter two. And that is, so you're going to have roughly six days or, or five or six days to read and look at my lectures and prepare. And then you come back on the next Wednesday and that would be September 2nd, prepare to discuss, um, uh, chapter one and chapter two. We're gonna talk about it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop lectures and you know you're gonna have to read and then we come uh, to the Zoom and we talk about it. So um, they're requiring that we do what you call what we call synchronous learning. So I can't just uh, give you YouTube le- uh, uh, links to my YouTube so you can view my lectures and call that teaching at this point. Now for summer course we got five weeks that was permissible, but we're talking about a whole fall, right? Um, I can't do that over a four month period. Um, so we're meeting, uh, we're doing synchronous learning. So that means in time, I mean, real, I mean, uh, not in person, but real time learning where, um, uh, it's real time. You ask me questions, I'm right there. Uh, and we're looking at each other on the zoom. Uh, so our zoom meetings are going to be every Wednesday. I'm not going to mix it up and shift it up for this class is Wednesday. It sits, um, you'll get the zoom links, um, um, probably every Sunday or so, or at one, you know, before it's due. So you'll have the zoom link. I'll post it in blackboard, but you just log on every Wednesday for this class. Um, okay. So that's how it's going to work. So thir- Thursday, you get new stuff Wednesday, uh, you show up to the zoom. Um, so our schedule, as far as exams and stuff, uh, of course we have, we're going to go all the way through that same schedule. We got one discussion board that's due now. Um, then we get uh, we do chapter eight that drops on a Thursday. We talk about it that Thursday, October first. Then that following Wednesday, um, we have a Zoom discussion and we, and we also do a midterm review on that Zoom. Um, then your midterm exam will be posted that uh, that Thursday, the eighth. So your midterm exam will be posted. And it'll be up through, uh, pro- it'll probably be up through Saturday, um, no, let's say Sunday uh, at midnight, um, before before midnight on Monday. So Sunday at 11.59. So that'll be the midterm, uh, that's October 8th. Uh, that following Wednesday after the midterm, we're not going to meet on Zoom, so that's a free week. Uh, no, no Wednesday meeting. Uh, then we get, then Thursday, I drop, uh, that Thursday the 15th, I drop chapter, you know, I, uh, uh, drop chapter nine and chapter ten. So you need to read chapter nine, chapter ten. Look at my lectures for those chapters. Then we meet that next Wednesday uh, on the the next Wednesday on the twenty first, uh, and, and we go by that same schedule. Um, information comes out um, on Thursdays. The next Wednesday we talk about it. We meet on Zoom. Um, so that's the pattern, uh, of course. Then you also, okay, let me, let me go back up. You also have a writing assignment. Your first writing assignment will be posted on uh, September the 10th, and your writing assignments are always due a week later. So on Thursday, September the 10th, not only will I be posting the Chapter 5 uh, lecture, but I'll also be posting uh, the writing assignment. So the writing assignment, the writing assignment will go up, um, and it'll be due um the following week the 17th via email uh before 11:59 on September 17th so that's how that's going to go so I uh, skipped that so we talked about the midterm after the midterm then we get back to the the, the next thing that'll be due will be the second um the second writing assignment which will be uh posted on November 12th um and ava- you know made available on November twelfth. I'll also be posting the cumulative course review and, and final exam review lecture. Uh, then we'll meet that that following following Wednesday on Zoom that the eighteenth, and then uh the I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going to be posting November fifth. My apologies. So I'm going to be posting chapter chapter fourteen, chapters fourteen and fifteen lectures. Uh, and then I'm also going to be posting or, or giving out. Uh, the post in the second writing assignment on November 5th. Uh, we'll have that Zoom on Wednesday, the 11th. Then the 12th is um, uh, that second writing assignment will be due, and we'll also be doing a cumulative course review. So it'll be due on November 12th. So all this is in the syllabus. I usually don't go through all this stuff, but I want you to know things are spaced out. And I, I'm trying to design it where it's easy, where, it's, where it is um, what I call it, predictable. You know you're in uh, Boyce's... Uh, 
criminal procedure class. We meet every Wednesday. It is what it is. So Wednesday at 6, I'm logging into Zoom. Promise you I shouldn't have you on there more than an hour or so, if that, um, depending on what we're talking about, how many questions we got. So I'll get you in and out of there. Um, so that is the syllabus. This is your Bible for the, for this semester. This is the most important document you have for, for my class. So please uh, print it if you can. If you want to save some trees, um, make it readily available. I did post it in a, a PDF format, so have it where you can pull it out and follow it. But please follow this syllabus because we're going to go buy it. Uh, it's an online class, so this syllabus is all we have. I'm probably not going to deviate from it at all. As a matter of fact, I've already preset everything in the semester, so it's going to drop and you're going to get um you're going to get um announcements and stuff like that when stuff is when stuff is available and when stuff is posted uh so i'm i'm presetting that stuff uh anyway so the only thing uh you you'll get uh kind of real time is is the uh weekly um zoom link and stuff like that so without further ado um of course we'll i'll see you guys next wednesday on the zoom where we'll talk uh, about everything if you guys have questions of course you can email me text me as well um but it's gonna i'm uh, it should be a pleasure to teach you guys it always is uh you guys be good